I'm Hugh Watts, and I'd like to talk to you about landmines, and in particular, the effect of landmines on children. Landmines are remarkably cheap to buy, only about $3, but up to $1,000 to get rid of. And there are over 100 million unexploded landmines in the world. Let me repeat that. There are over 100 million unexploded landmines in the world. There's one mine for every 50 people on planet Earth, man, woman, and child. And for every landmine cleared, 20 more are laid. What do they look like? Well, they come in all different varieties, and let's look at some of them. Blast mines are activated when a victim steps on them. They're laid on the ground, or up to a few centimeters below the earth, and when they explode, they drive fragments of mine casings, dirt, footwear, clothing, up into the leg, and you can see that that's an ideal way to get end up with an infection in the amputated uh, leg after the operation. Fragmentation mines are activated by tripwire, and these are laid above the ground, and when they explode, the fragments go in every direction over about 20 meters. They're usually at a lower uh, height, and therefore the injuries are mostly amputations as they go from about knee level down. Directional fragmentation mines, like the famous American Claymore mine, have the metal fragments in front of the explosion so that when the blast goes off, these scatter in a focused direction and therefore have a much longer range, about 100 meters. Bounding mines, like the famous Bouncing Betty, are buried under the surface, and when they're stepped on, a small explosion drives the mine up into the air, about a meter, and this is pulls on a trip cord that sets off this main explosion, which occurs at mid-body level, obviously resulting in much more major injury. Who's most at risk? It's civilians. It's the civilians who are trying to work their farmlands, trying to get the irrigation channels so that their farmlands will be more productive, who are trying to use the roads so they can get their produce to the market to feed their families. And of the civilians who are most at risk is clearly the children. In most of these countries, about 50% of the ch uh, population is under the age of 15. They're either too young to read the warning signs or, being children, don't pay attention to them. And a blast at knee level for an adult may be a chest level for a child. So a child is much more likely to die from the blast. Of those children who survive and have limb amputations, a few will get prosthetic care since the limited money resources are reserved for giving uh, prosthetic uh, limbs to uh, working adults. Children are naturally curious. The lower left, you see a but a famous uh, butterfly mine, and these are dropped by helicopter by the thousands, even the tens of thousands, and they're designed so they don't go off when they hit the earth, but only when they're picked up. The child sees them, look, thinks that they're a play toy, and in doing so loses both its hands and may become blinded. Like this little boy to the right from Columbia, South America, who unfortunately picked up a butterfly mine and lost both his hands and is blinded. What can be done to stop the carnage? Become informed. If you yourself aren't informed, how can you spread the information? And if we don't spread the information, how's anything ever going to result? As physicians, we have a duty to speak up, and as orthopedic surgeons, we have an even greater responsibility to do so since we're more aware of the injuries that result from these and the great uh, difficulty which uh, such injuries may present to people. Thank you for watching.